Do you have an AMD Threadripper CPU? Are you finding the Asa Tech cooler bracket they included in the box just isn't cutting it? Would you rather slap on an AIO rather than going with a full custom liquid cooled loop? Well, have I got a deal for you. How's it going everyone? Jeff here once again for Modders Inc. Back in May of 2017, AMD announced their new high-end desktop CPU called Threadripper. While there's always quite a bit of excitement around a new product and platform launch, this one was just a little bit different. Threadripper was huge, and I don't mean that metaphorically. I mean, physically, the chip itself is massive, dwarfing every consumer level CPU that's come before it. When Threadripper hit the streets, there was quite a bit of concern as to how you would actually cool such a large chip, especially since AMD's solution was to include an Asatec bracket for their standard all-in-one liquid coolers, giving less than full coverage of the IHS. So while normally CPU platform launches mean new mounting plates for existing cooling solutions, AMD's TR4 requires a physically larger cooler. Enter Enermax and the Liquitech 280 TR4. It's a 280mm all-in-one liquid cooler built exclusively for Threadripper's TR4 socket. At least on paper, this is an AIO unlike any other, with a 100% TR4 IHS coverage and an advertised 500 watt TDP cooling capacity. It's also got a 450 liter per hour water flow thanks to a ceramic nano PI bearing pump. Inside the box, we find the cooler itself, a pair of Enermax 140 mm high pressure twister fans, assorted screws, mounting hardware, thermal paste, a Molex to PWM adapter, and a PWM Y cable for connecting both fans to your motherboard CPU header which I really appreciate Enermax thinking of instead of leaving it on the customer to include a fan splitter. Taking a look at the Liquitech 280, saying construction is beefy feels like quite a bit of an understatement here. The 280mm radiator is very sturdy, the tubing is well sleeved and braided, and the CPU pump block combo feels like it has more in common with a tank than with a CPU cooler. The Enermax logo sits on top and glows white when powered up, and underneath the block reveals a massive copper plate, much too large for any other CPU socket. Insulation here is about as straightforward as it comes. Mount the radiator and fans to a 280mm supporting section of your case. Then screw in the mounting posts to the TR4 socket. Apply thermal paste to the CPU and gently lower down the water block onto the CPU. Then use the four spring tension nuts to hold down the four corners. Once the cooler is installed, simply plug in the radiator fans and CPU pump to the appropriate headers on your motherboard. The white glowing Intermax logo, which you can see here, looks fantastic when your system is turned on, and the entire cooler has a sturdy, almost industrial look to it. And since everything is black and white, it shouldn't clash with any other color schemes you might have going on in your case. Performance-wise, we're going with a Threadripper 1900X CPU with both the Intermax 280 LickTech and a Thermaltake 240mm Asatec AIO at both stock and overclocked speeds. I'll be using Ida64 to bring the CPU up to a full synthetic load until the temperature stabilizes. The room temp at the time of testing was 23 degrees Celsius. Under stock conditions, the Asatec saw idle temps right around 38 degrees Celsius, with temps under full synthetic load climbing to around 68. Meanwhile, the Enermax kept things considerably cooler at 31 degrees and 49 degrees respectively. You can already see the difference the full coverage water block is making versus the small contact surface on the Asatec cooler. Overclocked, the difference is even more dramatic. Now, on AMD's website, they list the max recommended temperature for the 1900X at 68 degrees Celsius, while the Asatec kept things right at that line at stock speeds, with a 4.1 GHz and 3.875 volt overclock. Idle temps increased to 43 degrees Celsius, but full load brought it all the way up to 79. And in fact, there were a few momentary spikes up to 91 degrees Celsius. The 1900X never throttled, but I would not run it at these temps for very long. Switching back to the Enermax and... Uh, we see idle temperatures of 32 degrees Celsius and full load reaching just 56. The max temperature observed during the entire test was 65, which fell well within the safe limits for the CPU. I don't have the exact measurements for CPU power draw, but HW Info reported a max of 193 watts from the CPU package. A 56 degrees Celsius average under full synthetic load is certainly not bad for any all-in-one cooler, let alone for something as demanding as Threadripper. Conclusion time. The Enermax 280 LickTech TR4 is attractive, well-built, easy to install, quiet, efficient, and performs well above and beyond the smaller coverage Asatec blocks. Retail on this AIO seems to be right around $120 on Amazon at the time of filming, which actually puts it cheaper than some of the Asatec 280mm coolers that are out there. If you're looking for a no-fuss AIO solution to cool down your Threadripper, the Enermax 280 LickTech TR4 certainly fits those requirements in spades. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to see more content like this. Drop us a comment and let us know what you think of the latest offering from Enermax. Thank you everyone for watching. As always, I'm Jeff, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you 
all for watching. As always, I'm Jeff, and I will see you in the next video. Finger guns, too early. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>